am sweating honestly hi welcome back to my channel with me Aina um I hope you guys are having a great day today if not I hope you guys are just enjoying your day however you guys can so I am thinking of starting this video today I'm just like a bit motivated to film today for some reason for this video i am going to be reading this book it's called a rabbit the rabbit back literature society by Pasi ilmari jessica Linen, i think that's the author's name i really love the cover the cover is just so nice i recently got this book like i bought this book on big bat wolf on shopee because they were having the yearly sale i think it was the last day of the sale i completely forgot that i meant to like i wanted to buy books from uh on big bad wolf at that time but i completely forgot about it and i just remembered on the last day of the sale so i quickly like just scroll through the shop and but i just happened to spot this book so i got it the first thing that i was attracted to this book is the cover. I don't know why, I think the cover looks just... It looks so aesthetically pleasing to me. Like, it looks so pretty, especially the um, the design on it. I don't know why, that's just for me. The second reason why I got attracted with this book is because the word literature. Because when I first saw the title of this book, The Rabbit Back Literature Society, I thought it was about... I thought it was a literature book. Like explaining about literature and I thought it was a poetry book but turns out it's a thriller novel and it's about um, authors and writers so I feel like it was a sign for me to buy this book because I remember I think I mentioned in one of my videos that I wanted to start reading more thriller books if I remember in one of my videos, I did mention that, so I think it was meant to be for me to read, for me to buy this and read this book. So what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to be doing a reading vlog. I will be update, like I will update you guys throughout this video of my thoughts and feelings of this book. I just finished two of my major assignments yesterday. I have one more major assignment that I need to start actually. I'm thinking of like giving myself a break. Uh, today and start reading the rabbit back literature society this is going to be my what month is it this is going to be the book for june like i'm going to be reading this throughout this month if not hopefully in a week i can finish this hopefully if i'm not too busy with assignments but i feel like i will but i feel like i can finish this quite early so we'll see about that this book is actually about this one girl called her name is Ella Milana. She's a literature teacher. She entered this society group and they have this game called The Game. And suddenly a lot of things were happening. Um, words in books were rearranging themselves and this one author, writer in, their, in the game or the group, the person went missing. So now they're trying to like find out what the hell is going on with this whole game thing. I'm going to start reading this and I will see you guys later. <laughs> so it is the second day of my reading vlog and I kind of want to update you guys a little bit because I just reached the 50th pages for this book and I'm going to start the sixth chapter. Um, I'm going to continue reading this tonight because I actually have other things that I need to get done. I need to update my bullet journal and my to-do list and all the other things that I need to do. But yeah, I kind of want to up update you guys real quick on how I'm feeling with this book and my thoughts. I really like the main character, which is Ella Milana. In the starting of the story, we kind of see that she's grading this essay where she noticed something was off. What it is, is that she noticed the book that the essay was based on, change, the plot changes because there were some words that were rearranged. So actually, that was the main hint of the major mystery that's going to revolve around i'm pretty sure that it is because i just you know the plot is just starting the plot is just building up because i think the first five chapters it's just a build up to where the major plot is going to start which is ella milana was offered to go into was offered to join the 
elite literature literature society in this town, Rabbitback. And I think that's the actually main start of it of the whole you know, of the whole major storyline. I just realized that this book is actually a translated version, an English translated version, because the author is from Finland and it was translated from the Finnish language. That was really interesting because I noticed that there were a lot of non-American um, names like Ingrid Katz, like one of the character in this, she's a librarian. Her name is Ingrid Katz and she's also like a known author in that town. So I was like, Ingrid Katz doesn't sound like an American name and I'm pretty sure that it doesn't, like the way the author explains the um, nature and scenery of where they are it doesn't sound much American because there's like a lot of mountains and hills so I'm thinking Finland has a lot of mountains and hills I'm, I'm not entirely sure I could be totally wrong I'm pretty sure rabbit back is not in America because I, I was trying to think like where is this where is this town from like I even googled it and it did say from Michigan which is in US but then again, it's clearly from fin Finland because the author is from Finland. So yeah, that was that was like I was just like, oh, it's from it's translated from Finnish. That's really cool. What I'm feeling is that something's going to happen when she's in that society, like when she meets the group members and all that. Because based on the synopsis, they say they're going to play. There's this thing called the game where they're going to do. It already mentions in the synopsis that books are rearranging their. The, the words themselves so I don't know how that works I don't know how that happens like is it magical or like you know so I will keep you guys updated if I reach the hundredth pages and hopefully by then the plot has already went deeper and the story is just I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit. So it is the third day of updating my reading vlog and I just reached the hundred pages for this book. Before I get into my thoughts and feelings, I just want to say that I forgot to mention that um, this town has a weird tradition for mythological creatures. Like they are popular with gnomes and goblins and they would give them, give those creatures, like those figurine creatures as a gift. And throughout the whole town, there's also like statues of mythological, mythological creatures here and there. So just want to put it out there. Also, um, I forgot to mention that we kind of learn more about Ella Milana's family, like her mom, her dad, and apparently she has a sister, which the author just briefly mentioned in the book. They were mentioning something about her sister, so I'm kind of curious now if she's going to turn up in the future of uh, in the future chapters because now I'm at chapter thirteen in part two the hundred pages um in part two we kind of like i have notes here because i'm scared that i'm gonna forget everything but so in part two we met another new character named marty winter so in part two in chapter eight if i'm not mistaken in chapter seven sorry um the story is kind of told in a new perspective of a new character which is marty white he's one of the members of the society the literature society club so um and at that time they were having this big dinner party to welcome ella milana as the 10th member of the society so that's where the whole disappearance happened i'm not going to say who disappeared because that would kind of ruin the whole mystery for you guys just in case if you guys want to buy and read it but i wasn't expecting the character who disappeared to disappear because i was expecting someone else so that was a big shock and when the disappearance happened like i said it literally it literally mean that the author the character disappeared in a whirlwind of snow which is so funny like and it like there's no explanation towards it because right after the disappearance happened everyone was like what the hell like how did that happen is this like some sort of joke or some sort of um uh what do you call it? like a some sort of um i can't think of the word and the dinner party was actually pretty big not only the members of the society was there but there were also like journalists and other writers because apparently it's a big thing where ella milana is the new 10th and final member because it's been decades that they haven't had a new member and just now in this book like in this 
time they the head of the society club which is Laura White she read Ella Milana short story on this magazine and she was really interested and she wants to take her as her apprentice like as Laura White's apprentice so Laura White she's the main she's the head of the society club she is an author who kind of take new authors as her apprentice and she would train them and to be best leading authors in the world because apparently this whole society is like quite popular in like around the world like everybody know who's Ill, uh, everybody knows who's Laura White because she's a children's author in this book and all the other members are also quite popular in town and around the world so this society club is really interesting like she like Laura White is the um, I guess you can say master of all authors who are like prodigies in the whole writing industry in a way like I hope that makes sense when I was reading through the chapters a character Ingrid Katz she was being pretty sus I was like okay you're you're being fishy right now why are you doing this she was being really sus at the party right after the dinner party they went out to search the character who was disappeared they went to search the person in the woods you know all around town but there was no sign of any like kidnapping or anything like that Ella Milana was quite shocked because like that was supposed to be the night of her dreams where she meets this really famous author Laura White but you know the whole night just went sideways and everything was like ruined for her so she went home feeling really bad and like she was she was sad she was really heartbroken by that night right at the end of chapter nine finally they start to mention about the game because i was waiting for like when are they going to explain about the game or like when's the game going to come up so they already like in the end of chapter nine they mentioned about the game and if i understand it i think it's a game where you ask questions to any members of the society and they can only ask within themselves like this game can only be played among the members and how they approach the members to like initiate the game is really creepy because this one member of the society like climbed up Ella Milana's uh, window to initiate a game but at that time Ella Milana just pretended to, to be sleeping and she just ignored the other member and the other member went away so that was like pretty weird right now I'm on chapter 13. It's where um, Ella Milana is playing with Ingrid Katz because I bet she's going like she's asking about like she's asking about why books are being like why words in books are being rearranging and why isn't anyone talking about it. So I'm sure she's going to ask those in this chapter or like in the next few chapters so i think the game is just basically a game of questions so literally anyone can ask you anything about anything i don't want to know the history about the society because no one outside of the club knows anything about the society or what they do besides the members are like prodigy or like apprentices for laura white that's all i kind of want to know the history of the society and like why why is there this whole game thing why did she come up with that it kind of makes me think like is laura white training them to like answer questions in interviews or something but then again it might not be i'm going to continue reading this and hopefully i'll do another update you guys will see me in a few seconds and yeah i'll Talk to you guys in a bit so i finished this book already <laughs> not gonna lie it's been a couple days since i last filmed and actually i finished this book like a couple days before i am slumped with assignments that's why I'm, i haven't been filming or updating the reading vlog just as much as i needed to but i finished this book and i have some comments so i'm just gonna jump right into my thoughts and feelings overall for this book like once i finished it um when i finished it i mean because okay first thing is the missing character there was no logical explanation towards it like in the end they didn't even explain anything like the author didn't explain how the person disappeared and what actually happened to that missing character like is that person still alive or is that person somewhere like quietly living in the woods or something like there's no explanation so i'm kind of disappointed in that you know little piece of cliffhanger the second thing is the game 
Um, so throughout the rest of the chapters, um, Ella Milana did play, end up playing the game with all of the members except for the two members that were not in Rabbitback um, town in the town. So apparently the game is more intricate and serious as I thought it was because whenever Ella Milana plays the game with other society members, apparently um, she would get mentally exhausted right after. She would like rest for almost up to a week because she wants to recharge and like get her strength back because whenever you play the game apparently you get mentally exhausted even though you're just asking each other like personal questions. Mostly Ella Milana when she plays games with the society members she just wants to know information about the head of the society which is Laura White so she just wants to know like any information regarding Laura White because she's doing the research about Laura White but for the other members whenever they play the game with Ella and asking the asking her questions it would usually be a personal questions about her personal life like her family and her sex life so that's kind of like even though they're just asking questions apparently when they answer those questions they're mentally exhausted. Why did Laura White even come up with the game? Because they just exchanging answers to have materials for them to write about. So the third thing that I don't understand and they did not have a ending explanation which is about the book plague. There's no logical explanation to how words are being rearranged in books in this town. Ella Milana and the members of the society, they just accept it as a natural phenomenon that's happening in their town and probably will affect all around the world. It's, it's like magically and mysteriously happening and they just accept it as a natural phenomenon that's happening to books and Ella Milana didn't even go deeper about it because she's so focused on doing her research about Laura White. The fourth thing is that I completely was shocked. There was a murder mystery that was um, related to the society members that happened 30 years ago when the society, like the Rabbitback Society was starting because um, when the Rabbitback Society started, the members were quite young, like around 10 to 11 years of age so back then like 30 years ago when they were young there was this kind of like a murder mystery happened within the society and all of them kept it hush hush under the rug in the town because no one in that town knows about that person being murdered or that person died they kept it a secret for 30 years and when Ella Milana was like researching about Laura White, apparently she found out that there was a murder mystery that's related to the society and she kind of dug into that a little bit, like she researched a little bit about that, like who was the person who died 30 years ago and she kind of found out, I'm not going to tell you because that would spoil the whole thing also. And she learned more about the society actually, even though like the history of the society didn't really explained well because I have I still have so many questions about the society honestly in the ending there's no explanation about that murdered person or the person who died 30 years ago even though they did explain who it was and how did the person die but I don't know the, the ending for that is just I just don't understand speaking of the ending um I'm kind of slightly disappointed on the ending. The book ended kind of like abruptly and it just... I didn't understand the situation. In the ending, they were like Ella Milana and Marty Winter were talking about the person who died 30 years ago because Ella contacted that person's mother. So the mother um, wrote a letter to Ella talking about the child because her child was the one who died 30 years ago so they were reading the letter and that's how it ended with that letter from the mother like i said there's no logical explanation but overall like overall my feelings towards this book it's not bad like the storyline was good but i feel like since it's a translated version the meaning of the story kind of got lost in translation i guess because i think if I were to read this in the original language, I'd probably understand the story even more and 
the mystery even more. Since it's my first ever thriller mystery novel, I would give it a 4 out of 5 because it's a 4 because it's my first thriller novel. I was intrigued, I was curious, and the storyline did kept me going, like did kept me reading this book. I kind of finished it pretty early, so I give I would give this a 4 out of 5. So those are my thoughts and feelings and comments about this book. Um, if you guys want to give it a read, go ahead and let me know in the comments if you guys happen to read this book. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you guys do and comment down below if you guys want to comment on anything. Um, if you guys watch to this point, please comment, I don't know, rabbits, I guess. Subscribe if you guys haven't and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>